This is the GED review video for expressions and polynomials. First, we're going to deal with linear expressions. And these are expressions that have one variable, and that variable needs to be raised to the power of 1. Now first, we need to deal with some definitions. Terms are the parts of an expression that are added together. Like terms are terms that have the same variable raised to the same exponent. For example, if I have 2x and 3x, those are like terms because they both have a variable of x and both x's are raised to the first power. Finally, a constant is a number with no variable attached. For example, 4. In an expression, two constants are also considered like terms. So first we're going to add two expressions together. So I have 4x plus 7 plus 8x minus 4. Now the only thing we can do here is combine our like terms. Okay, and once again, like terms are terms that have the same variable raised to the same power. So here I have 4x and 8x. I also have a positive 7. And while this says minus 4, we should know that minus and negative are really the same thing because we could change this to plus a negative 4 if we chose to do so. So we have a positive 7 and a negative 4. So 4x plus 8x, we add the coefficients together. 4x plus 8x gives us 12x. And 7 plus a negative 4 is a positive 3. So our answer is 12x plus 3. Now if we're subtracting, we have 4x plus 7 minus 8x minus 4. Now when you're subtracting expressions, you have to remember that this minus sign actually means we're subtracting both things in our parentheses. So it might be helpful to rewrite the problem. We have 4x plus 7, but now we're subtracting 8x. Okay, and here we're subtracting a negative 4, which really means we are adding 4. So once again, my like terms are 4x, and in this case, negative 8x, and then 7 and positive 4. 4x plus negative 8x gives me a negative 4x, and 7 plus 4 is a positive 11. Okay, here we have an expression on the inside multiplied by a whole number on the outside. This is what's called the distributive property. We need to take this number on the outside and multiply it by both things on the inside. So we're going to say 3 times 4x. We always bring down whatever sign is there. And then 3 times 7. Well, 3 times 4x is 12x, and 3 times 7 is 21. Once again, not like terms, so that is our final answer. Now I just want to back up one second, because there's actually an another way of writing each of these answers. It's usually common to write your answers with your variable first and then your constant after. Okay? Or in certain cases where we have multiple terms going on, we usually start with the biggest exponent and work our way down. However, it's also possible to switch the order of our terms. So for our first one, instead of saying 12x plus 3, we could say 3 plus 12x. Okay, for our second one, we need to make sure that the sign in front of it stays with it when it moves. Okay, so if we want to move this 4x, we need to keep that minus sign in front of it. And this positive 11 is going to go out front. And since it's out front, we don't need to put the positive sign in front of it. And finally, for this one, there's no negatives to worry about. So we could also say, if we chose, 21 plus 12x. 
Okay, we now have an example of factoring. And this example that we have is kind of the most basic type of factoring we could do. It's pretty much the reverse distributive property. Here, we had a number on the outside and we multiplied it to both things on the inside to get rid of our parentheses. Now we wanna see if there's a number that goes into both of our terms and we're gonna pull it out and kind of create some parentheses here. So I have 8x minus four. And I can say that four can go into both 8x and four. So I'm gonna pull out the four, which means in my parentheses, I have to say, well, four times what gives me 8x? And the answer to that would be 2x. Okay, bring down our minus. Four times what is four? And that answer is one. So 8x minus four factored would be four times in parentheses 2x minus one.